New satellite images have recently unveiled the progress of Saudi Arabia's ambitious NEOM project, a futuristic city with an estimated budget exceeding $500 billion. The mega project, which is crucial components of Saudi Vision 2030, has commenced its initial development phase, focusing on the infrastructure needed for its various regions. These striking aerial views showcase advancements in the construction of NEOM's impressive 100-mile-long linear city known as the Line. This phase involves the establishment of offices and campsites to support the engineering teams and workers. Saudi Arabia has also released a video illustrating the realization of their vision for the future, highlighting construction activities in several regions, including the Line, Trojina, Octagon, and NEOM's latest addition, Sindala. In this video, we will closely examine NEOM's progress in construction, assess the milestones achieved thus far, and provide you with the captivating updates about the massive project. Before we delve into the details, we kindly ask you to subscribe, like, and share this video as it greatly contributes to our channel's growth. NEOM is a brainchild of Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, envisioned to transform into a global industrial and business hub. The city is funded by Saudi Arabia's Sovereign Wealth Fund as part of the broader Saudi Vision 2030 initiative, which aims to diversify the country's economy and reduce its reliance on oil. The first phase of NEOM's development is anticipated to cost $320 billion, with half the funding coming from the Kingdom's Sovereign Wealth Fund. The focal point of NEOM's development is the Line, a remarkable planned mirrored megastructure soaring 500 meters high. This city consists of two glass reflective structures that run side by side for 170 kilometers, spanning coastal mountains and desert terrain. These two buildings will be interconnected via walkways with a high-speed train running beneath them. This megastructure is designed to accommodate an impressive 9 million residents who will be able to traverse its entire length in just 20 minutes. Despite initial skepticism about the commencement of construction on the line following its unveiling in July 2022, doubts were dispelled with the release of drone footage in October and subsequent satellite images. These images showcase significant progress in the construction of what is set to become the world's largest structure. The footage revealed the presence of over two dozen bulldozers carving out a path along the desert, marking the beginning of the construction process. A newly released video demonstrated demonstrates the substantial advancements in groundwork for this megacity within the three months following the drone footage. Construction of the line commenced in the first quarter of 2022, and NEOM's executive director, Giles Pendleton, emphasized that Saudi Arabia won't be directly building the futuristic city. Instead, they plan to utilize artificial intelligence for design through a digital twin backbone and assemble it using pre-engineered modular components with specific functions. Additionally, agreements have been signed with construction firms ACOM and Bechtel to develop an advanced transportation infrastructure, positioning the line as one of the world's largest and most intricate infrastructure projects. Once completed, it will dwarf even the Pentagon, the world's largest office building. Moving on to the progress of Sindala Island, this region within Neom, open to visitors in 2024, serves as an island destination known as Sindala. It acts as a primary gateway to the Red Sea, offering visitors tailored nautical experiences. Sindala focuses on luxury tourism, boasting three hotels with nearly 750 rooms and apartments, along with sizable marina. Neom envisions Sindala as a prominent shoreline destination for super yachts. In the future, it's possible that the colossal turtle-shaped Terragat Pangeos, which we discussed in a previous video, may navigate its way to Sindala. Upon arrival, guests will have access to luxury shopping, a beach and yacht club, as well as a spa and wellness center. Notably, Sindala Island will remain as a habitat for over 2,000 diverse marine species, many of which are exclusive to the Red Sea region. One of NEOM's unique projects is the rewilding effort, where nature conservation is taking place in an area where 95% of the island is protected. This initiative aims to reintroduce animals to their natural habitats. Another region within NEOM currently undergoing construction is Trojina, a massive ski resort and outdoor destination situated in the mountains approximately 50 kilometers from the Kaaba coast of the Gulf. Trojina will be positioned at the heart of Neom, surrounded by some of Saudi Arabia's highest peaks, reaching about 2,600 meters above sea level. Neom's progress video reveals the construction of a mountain road leading to what will likely be the ski resort. It is planned to host the 2029 Asian Winter Games upon completion in 2026. The $500 billion desert city will feature year-round skiing, man-made freshwater lakes, chalets, villas, and ultra-luxury hotels, with expectations of accommodating up to 9 million residents by 2045. The fourth announced region within NEOM is Octagon, an industrial and manufacturing complex designed to float on the Red Sea and operate exclusively on clean energy. The progress video illustrates the clearing and flattening of a significant area for Octagon's construction. Octagon is envisioned to become one of the world's most technologically advanced logistics hubs, incorporating technologies such as the Internet of Things, human-machine fusion, artificial and predictive intelligence, and robotics. Due to its strategic location just outside of the Suez Canal, a vital trade route connecting Asia, Europe, and the U.S. East Coast, Octagon is slated to become a major hub for clean, advanced technologies while providing housing for 90,000 residents by 2030. 
Giles Pendleton, NEOM's executive director, emphasizes that NEOM is a highly complex project developed in multiple phases through collaboration with engineers and contractors. Each day, the NEOM team is making significant progress towards realizing the NEOM vision. Advanced work is already underway on the infrastructure needed to support the line, with renowned architects designing initial sections, vertical spaces, and layers for the first residences. NEOM CEO Nadmi al Nozer has stated that around 20% of the project's infrastructure has already been completed. Additionally, NEOM's progress video highlights various accomplishments, such as the establishment of Autonomous, a NEOM subsidiary focused on AI-driven technology for building the mega-project. The company responsible for managing NEOM's sustainable energy and water systems is ANOA, which is the process of constructing the world's largest green hydrogen production plant. NEOM has also invested $175 million in Volocopter, an innovative urban air mobility solution that can be used as taxis or for transporting goods within NEOM's expansive area. NEOM has partnered with the rapidly growing lifestyle brand Inismore, which has become the first hotel partner for Trojina. Multiple hotel projects have already been announced. Additionally, Saudi Arabia's national carrier Saudia now offers direct flights to NEOM from London and Dubai. The progress video also highlights NEOM's expanding media sector, which has supported 25 productions in just 18 months. Collaborating with renowned names like BBC, Apple TV, and NBC, NEOM has partnered with McLaren to drive innovation and talent development in electric motorsports. Despite its ambition, the NEOM project has not been without controversy. Critics have raised concerns about its sustainability and alleged human rights violations. Human rights activists claim that the two towns were cleared and around 20,000 people were forcibly removed without proper compensation for the construction of the mega city. Reports also emerged of three tribal members being executed for resisting eviction from the construction site in September 2022. Some accused Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman of falsely promoting the project as environmentally friendly. Supporters argue that NEOM is necessary to create a modern, sustainable city that relies on renewable energy sources and carbon-free water desalination technology. The project has sparked a debate among whether NEOM represents a utopian vision for humanity or a potential dystopian nightmare. Feel free to share your thoughts on this matter in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. That was all from us today for this video, folks. For more similar content, make sure to subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one.